What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. And if you didn't know, the S8, S8 Plus, and S8 Ultra have micro SD card expansion, meaning you can add a little memory card for yourself so you can get more storage. So for instance, I have a 128 gig card right here. So I'm gonna put it inside. I'm gonna show you where to put it, how to do that, and I'm also gonna show you a bunch of things that you can do with it to store things. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. So first of all, you obviously wanna know where. So if you see it, this is the camera right there. It's right here at the top, on the towards the right. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take the SIM card ejector or SD card ejector, just press it in here to pop it out. So you press it in, pop it out, and now, there you go. I'm gonna put the SD card in. That is gonna be the micro SD card slide side because it literally says micro SD card. So make sure your micro SD card sits on top of that metal shiny piece of this little bracket. All right, so take the SD card, lay it flat right here, and then kind of like just press it in and it should sit like that. And then hold it and just push it right in to the top of the tablet. And when we do that, you can see it says SD card inserted. I'm gonna click on it. And I do have stuff on here because generally I use this, one of these SD cards anyway, the one that's in here, for my camera stuff. So that's why there's some stuff already uh, set up on here. If I go into the DCIM file and then go here, this is gonna show me with some of my videos. This is record videos I recorded directly on my uh, camera. So one sec, I'll click on it, go into video player. What is going on guys? Welcome and there you go. TV. It's, it's an TV unedited TV. video that I've recorded on here. But it's 4K video and you can see it's playing it absolutely fine on here. So it's great with that. But what I wanted to show you is a bunch of things that you can do. So not only am I able to see what's on this card through the My Files app, and you can access the My Files app just by going to all of your apps and then typing files and go into My Files. And then you'll see right here on the left, it says SD card. I'm using 21 of 116 gigs on there. So really, really uh, a ton of storage that you could actually put on there. Now, one of the other, one of the easiest things to do is if you took photos and videos with this, you could back them up not to only your internal storage, but you can actually save them to the SD card. That way maybe, you know, you want to save your storage that way. So go into camera and you can see right when I went in there, it says change storage location to SD card. Save space internal storage by storing your photos and videos in your SD card. The following will still be saved to the internal storage. So any GIFs and burst shots will still be saved to the internal storage rather than the SD cards. I'm going to hit change. But if you wanted to do that manually, just come in here, hit the gear in the top right, and you're going to come down and you're going to see save location, storage location. You can tap on that and you can change it to either internal or SD card. So that's one thing you can do right off the bat with your SD card. Also, if you come in here and we go into settings and then we come down until we see battery and device care, come into storage. And we're gonna see, we see internal storage and we should see also our SD card. So the SD card, if we swipe over, here's the SD card. That's where we can see what it's consisted of. If it's images, audio, installation files, other things like that. And you can hit the three dots right here and you can unmount it, which basically just removes it from the, the internal storage and you can pop it out safely or you can format it format it to completely delete anything off of it. So that's one another thing you can do on here as well. While we're in settings, another thing you can do is you can actually move some of your apps and games, I don't, probably not all of them, but probably a fair amount of them to the SD card. So if you're running out of storage on your device, say the internal storage, you can do it on the, in, the, the SD card. So go into settings, like I said, go into apps, and then find the app you want. I know for instance, if we go to the Amazon app and then we go to down a little bit, you'll see storage, you'll see change. I can hit change and I can change it from the internal storage to the Lumix. Lumix is the that SD card. It says Lumix because I use a Lumix camera from Panasonic. So that's what I'll do is I will choose Lumix 
and now it's saying exporting Amazon Shopping and its data to Lumix. This will only take a few moments. The app cannot be used while it's being exported. Do not remove the Lumix during export. Remember, yours won't probably say Lumix. It will probably say something else. Uh, it'll probably say whatever the SD card is called. So I'm gonna hit move. And then you see it's gonna move. It's pretty quick here. It doesn't seem to take much time at all. And there you go, it is now sitting on the internal storage. How do we know that? Because we can come in here and go to Amazon Shopping. We can go into storage and actually it said it right there. Uh, 24, 234 megs uh, used in external storage. You can also come back to change and change it back. So one thing to remember is if you do move apps to your SD card or, or photos or videos or anything, and then you remove that SD card, those things will not be there or will not work. So keep that in mind if you do remove your SD card a lot. You might not want to put apps and things on there. Going back into that My Files app, you could also, if you wanted to, transfer files back and forth between each other. So for instance, if I go into my internal storage and then I go into my downloads folder, and maybe I wanna move this or copy this over to my SD card, I can do the following. I can tap the three dots in the top right. I can hit edit. I can tap it, it's now selected, you can see. I can hit copy or move. If I move it, it's gonna move it from its current location over to the SD card. I'll just do copy. And now you can see it's copied. And what I can do is click on the, I'm just gonna minimize that, go to SD card. I'll go into download. And then you can see down here, it says copy here. I'm gonna hit copy. And now it's not only on my internal storage, it's also on my external storage, AKA the SD card. Now I know some of you probably asked, but can you move games to the SD card as well? And it looks like you can. Here's Minecraft, for instance, if I go into change, it will let me select it and I could play it off the SD card as well. So it's, as long as you have a fast SD card, which I'll list one or two down below that actually are pretty fast and that'll work great with this, uh, you should have no problems. So there you guys go, having an SD card with tons of storage, especially if you didn't buy a, a ton of storage on your tablet is amazing. So I'll link a couple down below, like I said, and you can do all these different things and more. You could store movies on them if you're gonna go out and you don't have a ton of storage or you know put some games on there or apps or photos and videos and all kinds of other things. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.